Nearly 400 Greyhound buses arrive at the Atlantic City bus terminal each week. Bill Southry of the Atlantic City Rescue Mission says not all passengers are tourists. Many are homeless, bussed in by other communities and social service organizations who claim they don't have the resources to keep them in their own jurisdictions. It's called Greyhound Therapy. Southry says it's been a problem in the gaming town for 20 years. 60, 55 to 60 percent of the people we serve have some kind of mental health issue. And uh, so that, that's a result of hospitals closing, services not being provided adequately in the communities. The Atlantic City Rescue Mission is the state's largest facility for the homeless, with 270 beds available each night. They serve over 3,300 homeless and working poor each year. 70% of their funding comes from private donors, the other 30% from grants and state funding. Southry estimates the majority of the homeless staying at the mission came from other communities. Well, think of the think of the mottos that there used to be the world's famous playground. It was kind of fun and frivolic. Now it's do Atlantic City. The connotation is come and do what you want to do. Just this week, two tourists were murdered across the street from a casino. The suspect is a homeless woman from Philadelphia. Her relative says she's been living on the streets since January and suffers from schizophrenia. And a day after those fatal attacks, an Atlantic City man was arrested for allegedly slashing a man on the face near the rescue mission. All those incidents while Atlantic City is trying to revitalize its image as a family-friendly destination resort. Southry says about 25 homeless persons typically roam the city streets daily, down drastically from previous years. But Atlantic County Executive Dennis Levinson disagrees. And the mission has 300 people there on a nightly basis. Those people that are not in programs, after breakfast they're let loose onto the, onto the city. The Casino Reinvestment Development Authority allocated $89,000 in grant money to transfer the homeless to other communities that can assume responsibility for them. The CRDA master plan also includes blocking access to under the boardwalk and lifeguard stands, where the homeless typically seek shelter. Those projects are underway. And Assemblyman Chris Brown and John Amadeo introduced legislation they think will combat the problem. It's not a benefit you know, for tourists to see individuals that are homeless and, you know, under the boardwalk and hanging out on the beaches and the benches and looking around the dumpsters of casinos so that they can get their meal. But Southry insists creating a regional facility and ensuring every municipality can provide resources is the real solution to Greyhound therapy. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Atlantic City.